learning target, I can create or declare and call procedures for alien encounter animation. In order for us to do that, I will create procedures, call procedures, then I will write comments for each procedure. Let's take a look at our step two design in previous lecture. We did a stepwise refinement. We took our algorithm and did a stepwise refinement by breaking it down into larger tasks. Let's take a look at step two design. We did a stepwise refinement on our alien encounter problem and we divided that into larger tasks, alien annoyed, walk forward, turn right, turn left, and take off. We're going to use this larger task and we're going to implement by creating procedures. Before we create procedures, keep certain things in mind. Where am I going to create these procedures? Now, alien annoyed, there are two objects that's interacting with each other. Alien robot is annoying the alien. So we're going to create a scene procedure for alien annoyed. Walk forward, turn right and turn left. The alien is only doing an individual action. It's not interacting with any other object. So we're going to create a biped procedure, walk forward, turn right and turn left. The last one is take off. Take off again, the alien goes to the spaceship and then they both take off. So two objects are interacting with each other. So we're going to create a scene procedure for takeoff. Step three, implement design. We're going to do a stepwise refinement by creating procedures. We are going to create procedure alien annoyed. That would be a scene procedure. Walk forward, biped procedure. Turn right, biped procedure. Turn left, biped procedure. And then take off is going to be a scene procedure. Now we're going to call these procedures in correct sequence in my first method. Now keep in mind, sometimes the alien is walking forward three times or four times. You may want to use this walk forward procedure three or four times. So call these procedures in correct sequence in my first method to test to see if it works correctly or not. Now don't forget, always do incremental development. That means write few steps at a time and then test your program. Now, when you're implementing code, you're creating procedures. There are two procedures that you would create for scene, alien annoyed, and take off. The other procedures you would create is for biped, walk forward, turn left, and turn right. Do not forget to add comments at the beginning of each procedure. Alien annoyed, take off, walk forward, turn left, turn right. Describe the action for each procedure. Also, do not forget to add comments at the beginning of my first method. You must have student name, lesson name, and date. Step 4. Test. Call procedures. Call the procedures in my first method in correct sequence. The first step you want to do is select my first method tab. The second step you want to do is select the scene or the alien from the instance menu. Or you can directly click on the scene or the alien to select the object. Step 3. Drag the procedures into my first method in the editor area. Step 4. Click Run to test to see if it works correctly. 